Well, folks, there you go. I'm going to call this one now Automatic Watering System Epic Fail. Today was the first time I let the system run on its own without me standing here to watch it, and wouldn't you know it, this is the first time that it failed horribly. So, uh, I had set the run times to be 8 minutes for each bed, and you can see the first two worked well, which is good at least. And then when it got to this bed, this little compression fitting here decided to blow apart, and I wasn't home to see it happen or fix it. So you can see how it uh, sprayed out water and it dug a nice little trench there in my garden bed. I don't think it, I don't think I lost any onions because of it, but you know, washed it pretty bad there. And then you can see where it washed down off the side here and dug a little hole where the water was running over the edge and got puddles of water sitting over here. And uh, see what it did to my rain barrels. They are over half empty. I filled those last night completely. They're both full to the top. So you figure put a little bit on each of the first two beds, but the majority of that's gone because it just sprayed it out. Pump was running full capacity, just dumping out as quick as it could dump it. So just a note, um, these compression fittings I bought from um, Raindrip, I believe. I think that's the name of the online site. I'll put it in the comments below what the actual name of the website is. And I was really happy with the fittings at first. They were the cheapest I could find. They had good shipping. Everything was really good. But for some reason, these stinking threaded fittings will work their way loose. And I, I don't know how or why, but this just, I mean, they're real simple fitting. That little sleeve, and actually you can even see how it's belled a little bit. That sleeve slides over this nipple right here. And then you just pull the collar up you just thread the collar up around the nipple. So, they shouldn't come loose, but they do. So I'm not happy about this. I've been looking anyway. My ultimate plan is to actually convert all this flex pipe over to PVC, and I've got a 10 30 seconds tap and drill. So I'm gonna actually drill it and pour it in all these little sprayer heads instead of having this flex pipe, because they all leak with that flex pipe. That's not what it's designed for. And you can see how it all sags and warps when it gets hot and cold, so I don't like that. Anyway, this just gives me that much more inspiration to do it. So, make sure your fittings are tight.